Hello there. Are you one of those people that when you need to express yourself, perhaps in a group, in a meeting, or one-on-one -on -one when it's really important, and you find yourself freezing, shutting down, and the words just don't want to come out? If so, I know that this can be incredibly painful. I've had a whole bunch of this in my own life. And in this episode, we're gonna explore a whole lot about what to do if you freeze and shut down when you need to communicate. Freezing and shutting down can take many different forms. It can happen in meetings where you start speaking and then you freeze and you just can't speak anymore. Or it could be kind of freezing and shutting down before you need to speak so that you, in fact, avoid speaking. Or it could be intense one-on-one -on -one conversations. It could be work conversations where you need to have a confrontation or with your partner or family member or a friend and you find yourself freezing and the words won't come out. And again, perhaps the other person's even speaking at you and they're angry, but you're just not saying anything. And you might have a belief that no one wants to hear what I have to say or I just can't speak or it's, there's no point in me speaking even because no one's going to listen. Those are belief systems underneath a pattern of freezing and shutting down and not speaking. Now this can be incredibly harmful to both our work life where we won't be able to speak with authority and clarity in meetings and present our ideas. This can lead us to a whole lifetime of avoiding putting ourselves out there, uh, putting ourselves forward so we can live this kind of lesser life where we've stayed safe because actually I just, I'm too scared of, of freezing or I'm just too scared to speak or I'm scared of that shutting down thing happening. So there's that potential negative consequence and just as much can be huge consequences in our families or with our partners. I, you know, I'll tell you, me personally, I had a real freezing issue in my one-on-one -on -one love relationships where if there was a conflict going on, I would shut down and I wouldn't express uh, what was going on inside me. And that would really lead me to resentment, uh, withdrawal, and really a feeling of it's impossible for me to feel safe in a relationship. And of course, the truth is it is impossible for you to feel safe in a relationship if you won't show up and express yourself and say, no, and this is okay for me, that's not okay for me. It had a huge ability to sabotage my relationships. And so if this is you in any of these patterns, please know that it's dealable with and workable with, but I also know how tough it is too. So my heart is with all of us as we work through this thing of freezing and shutting down. Before we go any further though, I would love you to like this episode. Click the little button thing so we can just ping the algorithm. And you can also subscribe to this channel if this content interests you to make sure that you get this as a priority when I release new things. And I really think that the more you watch content like this, you watch these episodes, you'll really get a sense of how to turn this around. What do we do when we freeze, shut down and don't speak? Okay, step the first is to recognize that you've got a pattern, it's a big giant clump of conditioning, and that you're gonna to get to work with it. So your first step is really a mindset shift from, oh no, I'm stuck with this, I'm the worst, and I hate this part of myself, and I'm pissed off with life, to, okay, this is enormously challenging, but I can turn this around. And if you need help shifting your mindset, I've popped a link below to testimonials from my work just to read about people's experience of transforming this pattern in their life where they got their voice back, where they learned how to express themselves even when they thought, I need to shut down and I'll never change. Step number one, as I said, is change your mindset. You can do it. No, you can do it. Step number two is to start working with your nervous system. Generally what I find is with people that freeze or shut down or won't express is that they've got a freeze response embedded in their system, in their communication system, that takes over their body. It's not like they want this to happen, but this freeze happens. It's like the whole system freezes and within a freeze response, which is a, a, a dorsal vagal nervous system response, it's like our most extreme nervous system response. So just a quick bit of polyvagal theory. The unicorn state when we want to communicate with others is called our ventral vagal. That is where we feel confident, calm, settled, okay to be me with everybody else and connected and able to just express myself. That's the ventral vagal. And then when we start moving into anxiety, we start getting fight or flight happening. 
fight or flight then just means I might speed up, I, I feel anxious, my muscles are tense, my throat might close. And that's really when we would sort of run away from the conversation or have a fight. Not an ideal space to communicate from. And then our most kind of extreme state, you could say, is our freeze. When we feel like we can't fight or flee anymore, um, our system can flop over into freeze, and that's where all these pain-relieving chemicals uh, pump into our body. I think a really beautiful description of a freeze response is a little bit like this. Imagine being in your car, you're driving, but you've got your foot fully on the accelerator and your foot fully on the brake at the same time full on anxiety and full on I'm going nowhere at the same time. That's a freeze response. So that's what's going on in your system when you're like, I can't speak. And so it's just to know, firstly, I've got a freeze going on there. And so the next step is I've got to regulate my way out of freeze. If we've got freeze responses in our system, we've essentially got to become masters at self-regulation, at regulating our nervous system from uh, I'm frozen down through the fight or flight back into I feel confident and comfortable and safe in my own skin. Now, easier said than done in some nervous systems, but that is the word to regulate the nervous system back into calm in real time, in that meeting, in that conversation, breathing, pausing, and then beginning to work with tapping or any other number of tools in the moment to bring back a state of calm. I'll link to some videos at the end that you can follow of mine with extra tools for how to do these things of balancing the system when it's out of whack. Next is to know that there's a potential trauma or conditioning pattern from childhood that is really the source of all of this. You could call it a nest or a clump of conditioning that's inside us around the pattern of freezing. And we've got a lifetime of memories of doing it, of shame and regret. But we also have childhood memories of being shut down in some kind of way where there were events as a child that led us to decide or believe that it wasn't safe to speak. So really doing the work of meeting those early life patterns, that's really beautiful work to do either in groups, but often I do in that in one-on-one. -on -one. You could work with your support practitioner around that to really unravel this clump of conditioning and begin to heal the parts of us that believe it's not safe for me to express myself or no one wants to hear what I have to say, and so on. And these are deeply embedded belief systems that we will have picked up essentially in childhood most of the time. Another really sweet practice we can do is daily work to bring energy and life back into the vocal system. I get people to hum for five minutes every day, just literally like mm, mm, five minutes to start bringing some strength and dexterity and melody, you could almost say, into the voice. But another useful exercise is to speak, put on a timer and speak by yourself alone every day to get used to just speaking and letting whatever is here out. So you could start by saying, here I am and I feel kind of weird talking to myself. Here I am and I'm excited about the day. Here I am and I'm nervous about that meeting. Here I am and you just keep saying here I am for five minutes and letting words out, practicing getting words out. Practice letting our communication system flow so that we can just express ourselves without having to control all the words or pre-think everything beforehand and trust that just the right words will come out, especially if we're in a regulated nervous system and body. So really just to conclude, I know that you can heal this pattern. I've seen it happen a thousand times. All of us have a birthright where we can express ourselves with confidence and clarity, but authority and heart and warmth, and where we can be believable and authentic. It's really just being deeply human and safe and confident in our own skins while expressing ourselves. I believe that's our birthright. That's really the promise of this work and it's what I love to share. I hope this has been useful. Please drop any comments you'd like to share about your experiences or how any of these tools or theory have landed for you. And whichever way this goes, I'm just sending you all the love today.